All right, I'm here with the legendary Mike Quick. Now, obviously, uh, growing up in the Cherry Hill area, I knew about all the stuff that you did growing up. Um, and it is amazing how spicy the NFC East still remains after all these years. You playing in it, now covering it as a broadcaster. Can you kind of put into words as from a player perspective, what is the NFC East really like? A little extra, huh? So, uh, I don't know about the other divisions, but I know when you play in the NFC East, it's like playing against your brothers. <laughs> like, you want to win regardless of the record, whatever you've done in the past against them, it doesn't matter. You want to make sure that today, on this day, that you get the upper hand. And I think every team in the NFC East, that's the way we look at it. If, if Washington's the first the first place team, or if they're the last place team, we want to go into Washington and rip them apart. Yeah. Same with Dallas. And it, it's even more if you go to Dallas. If they're the first place team or the last place team, right. you want to go in and rip them apart. That's just the way the NFC East is. Mm -hmm. Going uh, macro now to the whole league, wide receivers. Your thoughts on the, the crop of wide receivers you see now in the NFL. How do they match up versus the crop of wide receivers in your day? you like them? Do you think they are above par? Your overall thoughts on the wide receiver position? I love them. I think the wide receiver position is very strong. And, I mean, you can look around the league, and I think it has to do with so much of the training that's now at the collegiate level and guys yeah. are learning to play the position like pros already before they get to the National Football League. So when you, and when you have that, guys come in almost ready right out of the box. Um, look at this kid, John Dotson, that played at Penn State to play for Washington now. I just think the kid is pro ready. You didn't, you didn't have to do a whole lot of work with him. The same with the guy that we got out of Alabama uh, last year, Devontae Smith. He comes into the league pro-ready. All you really have to do with kids like that is plug them in, show them what they need to do, give them their assignments, and they've been schooled so well at the collegiate level, they come in and they add a lot, like, right away. And you look throughout the league, and that's what I'm finding. I, I love the talent at the position, and I love watching the position of wide receiver in the NFL right now. Right. Talk about pro ready. Talk about being a pro. What's it like being next to Merrill Reese <laughs> for all these years? I mean, a living it's, legend. Yeah. We've had a lot of legends that came through that Philadelphia area, yep. you know, but Merrill Reese, I mean, what's it like broadcasting with him? So, I, I must say, I have been very fortunate and blessed to sit in the seat next to Merrill for now 25 years and, um, you know, coming into this business, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I had no idea that I would have the longevity that I now have. Um, and it's just been great. It's been learning all the time. Um, but at the same time, I know that I'm in a special place. I'm really next to a true living legend. And one of the guys who's the best in the business. And he is the dean of broadcasting in the National Football League. He's been at it for 41 years now, and that's the longest tenure of any broadcaster in the, in the NFL. Okay. And right now, you're cherishing every moment with him because, you know, like you said, 40 something odd years, you never know when he's going to say that's a wrap, and you've been sitting here. Do you smoke it all in? I, I do. And, and, you know, I take nothing for granted. I really enjoy every time that we get to sit down watch games, and talk about the games together. Yeah. Mike, you've always been a, a constant professional, and I appreciate Thank you. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Right. Take care. Yeah.